Hello, Tequila Tigers, and welcome to Mrs. White's at Home Read Alouds. Make sure you have a pencil and paper or a sibling or adult to talk to because a couple times throughout the story, I'm going to ask you to press pause, time to write or discuss, and I'm going to give you a question to respond to. Today, we're going to read a nonfiction book. This is one of the Fly Guy books, which you might have read before, and this is Fly Guy Presents Bats, and it's by Ted Arnold. Take a second to look at the photo. Let's look at the back of the book, too. See the photo on the back? Fly Guy is buzzing over to the zoo today. Come along to learn about that. I want you to pause and think. After looking at the cover, what are you hoping to learn from this book? What questions do you already have about bats? Go ahead and press pause. All right, keep those questions handy so that you can answer them as we go. All right, Fly Guy Presents Bats, Ted Arnold. A boy had a f pet fly named Fly Guy. Fly Guy could say the boy's name, Buzz. So the boy's name is Buzz. This says City Zoo. Buzz and Fly Guy <clears throat> went to the nocturnal house at the zoo. Buzz looked at the map. They were inside a bat cave. Fly says bats. It says creatures of the night map. Bat cave, swamp. Bats are so cool, said Buzz, but I don't know that much about them. Buzz and Fly Guy wanted to learn more. Almost all bats are nocturnal. That means they are active at night and asleep during the day. Bats fly at night. This, the caption for this says, greater flying fox bats, bats sleeping in trees. Over here we have some different types of bats. Townsend's big-eared bat, lesser mouse-eared bat, raccoon, barn owl. Buzz flies funny. Other animals, such as raccoons and barn owls, are also mainly nocturnal. Oh, so that's why they have the owl and raccoon next to the bats. Bats hang upside down to sleep. They hang in high places to be safe from hunting animals. Some bats hang from trees or other bridges. Bats might even hang out in your attic fruit bat in a tree, long-eared bats in an attic. Other bats live in caves. They hang from the ceiling. Lesser long-nosed bats. A group of bats is called a colony. Some colonies in caves have more than 20 million bats. This is a bat colony in a cave and all those little brown spots are different bats pretty crazy. Can you hang like a bat? Easy. There are more than 1,200 different species or kinds of bats. Tube-nosed bat, ghost bat, Jamaican fruit-eating bat. The most common bat in North America is the little brown bat little brown bat. Bats live on every continent except for Antarctica. Here's a map of the seven continents. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, and Antarctica. They can be found as far north as the Arctic Circle, where temperatures can dip as low as negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit. This is an icy cave. 
They also live in very hot places like Death Valley, California, where the temperature once reached 134 degrees Fahrenheit. Here's a photo of Death Valley. Greater flying foxback coat of fur. Bats are mammals. Mammals have fur and they are warm blooded. That means that the temperature of their bodies does not change with the temperature of where they are. Bats are the only mammals in the world that can fly. This is a greater flying fox bat colony. I flies. Yes, but you are not a, not a mammal. You are an insect. Flying is hard work. Bats use gravity, or the force that pulls objects downward to earth, to help them take off. This is an Indian flying fox bat. Fringe-lipped bats, a Brazilian free-tail bat. First, bats hang upside down. Next, they drop their perch and flap their wings until they are flying through the air. That is amazing. Yes. This says Townsend's big eared bat in stages of flight. Most bats are small and weigh less than two ounces. That is less than an orange. Scientists holding a ghost bat. Kitty's hog-nosed bat, also called the bumblebee bat, is the world's smallest bat. It is only about one inch long. Bumblebee bat being handled by a scientist. You can see how tiny it is in the hand there. So this says one inch. He's not much bigger than a fly. There are some large bats too. The greater flying fox bat is the largest bat in the world. From tip to tip, its wings stretch to about five feet. Greater flying fox bat soaring through the sky. Five foot long wingspan. All right, I want you to look at this page carefully. And I want you to ask yourself, how do the photos and pictures on this page help you understand the words? How do they connect with the text? So look really closely at this page and then go ahead and pause and write. Once again, how do the photos and pictures on the, this page help you understand the words? How do they connect with the text? Go ahead and press pause. All right, Tiger, so you might have said that like showing wingspan helps us understand what a five foot long wingspan means. You can see this like arrow going from there to there. We have like little pictures here to help us understand how small the bats really are by like one inch tall. We can see it in comparison with fly guy here and we can see it like in an adult's hand, how small, how little it really would be. And here we can see like it says they weigh less than two ounces. It looks really light, right? Like he's holding it up and it looks pretty small. So those are some of the things you might have mentioned in your response. Different kinds of bats eat different things. Many bats, such as the Egyptian slit-faced bat, eat insects. Some insect-eating bats also eat frogs, lizards, small birds, and even fish. Egyptian slit-faced bat, a pallid bat. Eat insects? I was hoping you would miss that fact. Fruit bats munch on fruits and drink nectar from flowers. This is an Egyptian fruit bat. And this is a palace's long-tongued bat. And this is a vampire bat. Seems like it's about to tell us about that. Vampire bats eat only blood. They drink from other animals, such as cattle. These bats use heat sensors to help them find the animal they are hunting. Ooh, I wonder if that hurts the cattle. Bats have amazing bodies. 
This is a long-eared bat skeleton. Oh, look, it looks like they have bones right through their wings. These small mammals have two wings, two legs, and a tail. They cannot run because their legs are too small, and their wings are not as strong as a bird's. Bats have two thumbs, one at each wrist. These thumbs help them to climb, fight, and hunt. You can see a little picture of a bat thumb there, and it looks like that's where they are right here. All bats have teeth. Fruit-eating bats have simpler teeth than bats that eat insects. Insect-eating bats have sharper teeth that help them crush insects. Vampire bats have razor-sharp teeth. So this says nice foros forest bat and a vampire bat. You can see fly. the fly is a little bit nervous. He's thinking about, oh my goodness, what if he had teeth like that? Bats have super senses. Some bats can see really well in the dark. Fringe-lipped bat. Those are both photos of that. Bats have noses. Bats' noses have extra special smell sensors. Red flying fox bat. And bats have great hearing. They can hear an insect's beating wings. Wings make noise long-eared bat hunting a moth. A gray long-eared bat. Wow, he really does have really long ears compared to his little tiny face. Many types of bats use a special sound to get around and to find food. This is called echolocation. Ooh, I've heard that word before. Whales use that too. Bats send this sound out from their nose or mouth. The sound travels to an object, bounces off it, and travels back to the bat's ears. This lets the bat know how far away the object is, so the bat can locate it. Oh, interesting. So you can see, like, the bat sends the noise, and these are, like, the, no the sound waves, and it goes and it hits the, the waves that you, you wouldn't be able to feel it. Sound waves you can't feel, right? But the noise sends out, the sound waves go, they hit the insect and then they bounce off and come back so the bat knows where it is. Bat sounds are too high pitched for people to hear. Some bats make sounds louder than 110 decibels. So that's a really loud sound but we can't hear it because um, it's too high for us to hear. So humans can't hear all sounds. Not all bats hunt the same way. Some bats, like the diadem roundleaf bat, wait for an insect to fly by. Then they fly after the insect to catch it. And there's a picture of the diadem roundleaf bat. And some bats hunt bad guys. Let's see, other bats hunt as a group. They help one another catch prey. This is a colony leaving the cave. You can see all the little specks there. Those are all the bats leaving. Many bats hibernate in the winter when there is not much food. They go into a deep sleep. Then when spring comes, the bats wake up to hunt again. These are little brown bats hibernating. Most female bats give birth to only one baby each year. Baby bats are called pups. So this is a gray bat pup. Pups. All pups, even baby vampire bats, drink milk from their mothers. Gambian bat mother and pup. You can see mom and the little baby here. Baby bats hang on to their mothers. You can see them like clutching on here. Mother bats with pups. A mother bat recognizes her pup's scent and cry. Even with hundreds of pups in one colony, mom can always find her baby. Wow, that's pretty cool. Fruit bat and mother pup. C 
Chiropterologists are scientists who study bats. They try to learn more about bats. This is a chiropterologist holding a pallid bat captured in a mist net. Chiropterologists look for new bat species. In 2013, scientists discovered a new species of disc wing bat. These bats have discs on their thumbs that help them to climb. So you can see here, that's what a disc is. It looks like a little suction cup. You can see he has them on his little feet too. Bats are amazing, said Buzz. From now on, I promise to never try to swat a bat, even if one gets in my house. I will get help to safely remove it. Bats are our friends. Buzz and Fly Guy couldn't wait for their next adventure. All right, I hope you were able to get your questions from the beginning of the book answered. And if you forgot to write down an answer to one of your questions, now's a great time to do that. I also want you to think about three things you learned from this book, two questions you still have that the book didn't answer, and one place you could look to answer those questions that you still have. Go ahead and press pause and write or discuss. All right, Tigers, I hope you enjoyed Fly Guy Presents Bats by Ted Arnold. And I hope you come back soon for more. Bye.